morning. Oh. 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 It's seven o'clock. Sounds to say goodbye to the cows. So I'm gonna rejoin the path. There's only not even 50 meters from it. And then like I say, it's about a mile to the first place where I think I might stop for breakfast. But hopefully there'll be like a table and chair I can use, or at the very least, like a park bench or something. Just gotta get across this road. That wasn't too busy last night, why? I didn't really hear any traffic on it all night. It's starting to rain now, so I'm gonna try and find somewhere that's a little bit sheltered, which maybe some of these trees up ahead. Uh, I'm not sure. But just at the end of the street there, I think I turn left and get off of the road. Off of the road, haha. <laughs> um, yeah, get off the road. Oh, here you go, here's my little acorn sign. So I go, oh yeah, oh there's, there's the crop the wooden sign post. It's right turn off here, so maybe I can find something around here that's either somewhere to sit with a bit of shelter, or ideally both. I don't know, uh, um, it's, I mean it's dry, it is dry. Okay, uh, so time of weather, it's 8.25, 8.35 now, and this is like light drizzle, which, yeah, I mean, you can barely feel it. So light drizzle stopping in 25 minutes, so I'm not going to use that underpass. I'm going to walk till 9 o'clock and then stop and have breakfast there. Well, it's not too late. I don't want to do like I did the other day and keep going to find somewhere nice to stop, and then it's like 10, 30, 11 o'clock by the time you're eating breakfast. And it just throws off everything for the rest of the day. So, uh, so I've just come through that farmyard, and then here we've got a bench. Looks like we're back on a section of the Montgomery Canal. Uh, so I've got a bench and a little bridge or river. So I'm gonna have my breakfast here. This is perfect. If the weather does take a turn for the worse, which I think it shouldn't do, um, I, can, I can just run under the bridge, and as long as I've got myself covered by that, I can just run and beat it out of the rain. But that one. Number 99 is a very narrow bridge. <laughs> so it's nice, absolutely. And we're going to be walking down that way. And I get to stay off the wet bench. <laughs> I made it all the way here, and I think when I put my bag down on the bench, like right before I needed it, there's a man down. <laughs> one of the eggs is. Oh well, such is life. So I'm gonna do um, a pot full of water, hard boil those five eggs. Um, I have two of them now. And then I'm gonna do that tin of beans, a hand, and beans and tomato sauce, a handful of cherry tomatoes to push it up and half of that pepper. And I'm gonna, yeah, I'll have two of the eggs and those beans and, and a bit of veggies uh, for breakfast and a cup of coffee. And that's the last of my coffee as well. I don't think I'm going to go past any shops today, but so I'll run a coffee tomorrow morning, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, we'll see. I'm going to try and get at least six hours of walking in this day, maybe seven. If I, if, I can, if I can do about seven hours a day from now on, I'll be able to do it in four days. If I'm averaging six, it's going to go to like four and a half. So 12 or 13 days in total for the whole thing, depending on how it goes. Right. Say goodbye to our bench and our bridge, and then... Uh, yeah, we follow this just a, I don't know, about a mile, I think, then we'll cross over the river, and then I think it's a, a different canal that joins. Oh, swan. Oh, come say hello. Oh, Mr. Swan. Oh, so it looked like it was going to rain a little bit heavier, so I stopped to put my rain cover on my bag, and as I put it on, I noticed there's a great big rip about three inches long in the side of it, like near where the, where it gets pulled out at the base by that um, yoga mat. So that's, that's really annoying, because it's only like two weeks old. Oh, this is a bit low. Oh, it's nice here though. Oh, it's really nice. This little shed here. Is, uh, is, is CRT stuff. These 
big planks here, these beams, well, they'll be somewhere along here, some of the car where they can drop those in and then they can like separate off a section of the canal so it can be drained and worked on. It's not heavy rain, but it's that kind of drizzle that gets everything really wet. And here I am talking about the weather again. And then aqueduct here. And that's the lovely brown of the seven. Yeah. So it is still the Montgomery here. I, I thought when it crossed the seven it changed now and it looked like what was on the, the map road was a bit misleading though. But I think we leave the canal here and, uh, and hang left. Ooh, what's this? Lannimuth Wharf Visitor Centre. And the only thing I know about that is that is almost certainly not how you pronounce that. <laughs> right, um, yes, over bridge. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna rest five minutes here. <coughs> the path goes up the road that a bit that way, where I was saying there are a couple of toilets, there are a couple of pubs marked on the map, just that way. I think there's only one of them still open, it doesn't open until 12. Well there's a little cafe down there which is open now, so I'm gonna go in there, get a hot drink, maybe a little snack, maybe not, I don't know yet. But well, then I can use the facilities before we head on. So I'm gonna take like a 15, 20 minute break in there. That's a little cafe behind me. That's really good actually. I inevitably just had coffee and a slice of cake there because I'd already had breakfast this morning. But the breakfast did look really good, so yeah. So there's a sign down the bottom explaining that. Apparently Darwin came here, well, like I said, 1831. So that's the claim to fame of this little stretch of road. And there's a bunch of cuttings there on the side of the road going up. I must say, I quite enjoyed walking along the river and the canal the last day and a half. It's been nice and flat. Uh, of course, the scenery and the views are arguably much better back up in the hills, but getting up to them, oh boy. Still powered by coffee and Victoria sponge, so I will prevail. But this is nice. I like that the last few days, all the woods that we've been through have had a real different feel to them. This here uh, is an old quarry. There's some fun little facts about it here as well. So in the 1860s, Thomas Savin, a uh, local business developer, tried using four times the usual quantity of explosive in one enormous blast to extract a month's worth of stone in one day. This is, but the, the money he saved was spent on roof repairs for angry householders. So I imagine that was quite an amusing day. Mm -hmm. Is there a golf course or inside of one? I don't know. Just think what a complete waste of land and water. Right, no way. Cool. Up into the trees. This is cool. Swings and things. Maybe they'll uh, slack lines by the looks of it. And then hooked. Yeah. I don't think we're going to stop there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Down with coffee. Well, what's down there? If I find somewhere that's nice to sit down, there's a bit of shelter. So just, yeah, I'll just take advantage of it and stop. But I'm not super hungry, yet, even though it is getting off at uh, like half or two o'clock. This. What's this? There's two wind wheels to get to start. Oh, hopefully see the markers going down the other side now. I'm gonna uh, use my sticks so then I don't slip on this white grass. Wow, I just will say though, 
as soon as I get down behind the crest of that hill, the wind's just gone completely. Um, actually, if there was a seat here, this would be fine to stop and have a hot drink. Uh, so, yeah. All right, well, that's closed. Uh, they don't open till five. Uh, and I'm not waiting till then, but I'm gonna use one of their tables and uh, make some food. It's a real shame that the, uh, the pub doesn't open until five because I'm sure they'll do beers from that little microbrewery that's right next door and I'd quite like to try one of them but I'm not I'm not prepared to wait an hour and a half for it to open that's insanity I think this might be the top or at least it's the top for a little bit I've got some flat here before it goes up anymore <sighs> so we're off to the right but who's this is? So we've got a little climb up there, and then I think we get to the, the top of the hill. But is this? Did I see a secret into this? I could give that a word. Nah, I'm going to uh, I'm going to press on. Give it another half hour. Just gone four thirty, so like I said, give it half an hour, and then and then I'll find somewhere to stop. The bench in good condition and it's dry. It's looking out over not the most amazing of views, but we'll see. I'll tell you what, I'm going to check. I'm going to see. Let me just put my stick down. So I'm going to see if I've got a decent phone signal here and if I am, I'm going to sit down here for a bit. Also, we're only about a mile from where I was thinking, I would, around the area I was probably thinking we'd get to today. And it's not even five o'clock yet. So I'm going to stop and have one of those beers now and chill out and have a few squares of chocolate uh, and rest my feet for a bit after climbing up that hill. And then I, I guess if I walked I've been walking like an hour and a quarter from when from lunch, which is a bit lame, but you know, it is probably about halfway time-wise for, for where I'm gonna walk in the afternoon. So yeah, I'm gonna stop, have a break now, and then keep going, and basically just start looking for someone to pitch up at that point. Cambrian Gold, Golden Ale, from Stonehouse Brewery. Uh, deep and golden with hints of fruit from American Cascade Hops. It is from Stonehurst Brewery in Western Oswa Street. Well, we're in Oswa Street now, so it's yeah, it's very local. Uh, yeah, best before info 4.2%, so it's not that strong. Moment of truth. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit zesty actually. It's got more of a, it's got an ever so slightly um, toasty flavour, more like a. More, a little bit more like a bitter flavour than I would expect from a, from a golden ale, but it's um, yeah, it's not bad at all. I think, like I said before, I like these pine forests. I find them really atmospheric. Not all fir trees in here, though. Oh, look at these. Lanforda Estate, Oswald's Trail. Yeah. What's this in the clearing? Looks like. Oh, now this. Oh, from over there. This might just be so good another way that they might just stay here. Oswald Street Racecourse Grandstand. Oh, so it's an old racecourse here. Okay. Ruin of the Racecourse Grandstand, built in 1804. Yeah, finished post. Last race in 1848. The course was abandoned. That explains why it's the two horses there, that it was an old racecourse. Yeah, you could. This is all access land as well, so. Uh, oh, this goes on for quite a bit. This, this lovely. Pitching friendly land. I like this. We've got to the end of that, or just out the end of that little park, parky bit there. Really popular with dog walkers. Some really nice dogs there. It still looks like the, it, the series going has got some good places to pitch. I'm going to keep going for a bit longer. It's 5:20 now. If I walk for the 20 minutes, half an hour, as long as it's, I'm still seeing nice places to pitch, I can pitch up. And the worst case scenario, um, 20, 30 minutes gets me back there. I'm just actually walking a bit down the road, just because there's daylight left. 
I wanted to try and push on another 25 minutes, 30 minutes maybe. See that sometimes, it's just where I just come past, it's like a science like Oasis campsite. But then all the fields it's next to, like none of them are level, they're all really at, at like quite an angle. So I'm not sure where, if, if that's what they mean for the campsite, or if there's like another field somewhere else that's like one back from that that's a bit more level. Because if I'm paying money for a pitch, I want a damn flat piece of land. I think I can find somewhere in these woods. No problem at all. Good news and bad news. Uh, the good news is I found this great little hollow. Apparently that, that hill there, or just down from it, is called the Fixed Point, And it's been like a lookout um, for like since, so this is the Iron Age. So it's nice and sheltered from the wind, relatively flat. The ground's a little bit tufty. Um, but it's it's okay and it's nice soil to put the tent into. That's the good news. The bad news, starting with the least bad probably, is that for the last hour, since I basically stopped for that bottle of beer, I forgot to put my rain cover back on. Uh, the next bad thing is the problem with this area is because there's, there's ant sheep mainly in the fields down there and obviously I like to wander up here. This is like a shit minefield. There are turds everywhere. <laughs> So, I think once I get in my tent, I'm gonna to have to be real careful about getting out of it again while it's dark outside. <laughs> but again, that's bearable. Um, and then the other bad thing that's happened is the tent was wetter than I thought when I put it away. I mean, it's still damp, not wet, but I do like an hour to dry out. So I've left the, you can't see it from here, the flap on the near side is, is open with just the mesh covering it. Actually, let's, let's go and have a look. I managed to find a little patch with basically no poo underneath it but i've got my um purple yoga mat to put down first and that should be dry or mostly dry on the inside so yeah i'm gonna do like i did last night i'm gonna open a bottle of beer and then i'm gonna drink that and wait for it to start raining or for like half an hour 45 minutes or for it to finish the bottle of beer so half an hour 45 minutes probably and then i'm gonna get in the tent and just stay in there all night i think if i can get in there and have my stove going in the vestibule area because it still hasn't started raining yet then i'll make a hot drink otherwise i think that's me for the night i'm just going to listen to some podcasts or maybe read a book oh i started the next beer and i didn't tell you about it so it's uh into the wild four percent simco ipa from the same oswestry brewery uh, they described that as simco hops give hints of citrus apricot and berry in this full-bodied classic session ipa yeah uh, this is much nicer than the other one actually, I really like this. It's kind of a halfway between a, um, a traditional kind of British IPA and a, a, a kind of craft beer, American style IPA. Um, it's, you can definitely taste the Simcoe coming through in there. Having this dry to sit on, even if the floor is damp, is super helpful. I'm really glad I've got this with me. I got three quarters of a bottle of beer left. I'll finish that off slowly and just chill. All right, right. I've just been outside. I give it a quick once round, um, checked all the pegs, and tightened out these end points on both sides a little bit. I think it's all good. I think I'm quite happy with with where we are and how it's settled in. Um, I think this spot's actually pretty good. I don't know if you can hear. It. You can hear the wind whipping around outside. You can hear it outside. It's like it's kind of blowing across here, but back here I think we're sheltered from most of it because I've been mean, like right now there's nothing you get the occasional gust coming through that rattles the tent about a bit but it's uh, pretty good to be honest uh, so I'm gonna um, get changes my sleeping stuff get my sleeping bag out it's a little bit it's not as it doesn't seem as cold as it was last night yeah anyway get ready for bed listen to some podcasts and yeah I think I'm done